<laughs> they, this is the fun part about gardening. Hello and welcome everybody. So we're back into the garden um, and I just found Tara and she's found something that she absolutely loves. <laughs> I didn't find it. I'm just hanging out with my good <laughs> friends. I love them so much. They're so pretty. I did a little bit of research too and uh, lots of medicinal properties in the uh, hollyhocks as well uh, as the marshmallow. So check it out. Always make sure you do your research before you start using plants as medicinal, but it's kind of cool to learn all these things. So new color popped up. I don't recall having this color last year, which is good. I love all the colors, so black is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> black is my favorite. This is a real nice one. It was a dual color last year over here, so they're very pretty. It's a duller version of that one almost. Well, this is purple, that's pink. Yeah. Like, yeah, but it's neat. All right. What is happening? Everything is growing tall. The marshmallow. You could totally sleep in here with how soft these are. They are so soft. The marshmallow leaves are like, oh, like, uh, they're the softest. Yeah, they're like a plush something. Yeah. They're Almost really, really like soft. if you get like a tissue and it's one of those really thick tissues but it's soft. soft, it's like, it's like fur, like it's, it's neat. All right. Uh, we did, <laughs> that was stinkweed. Uh, the <laughs> coneflower is all coming out now. Eventually I will have other colors. That one's ever, that ever bright. It's a very to, bright color. Yeah. yeah, the other ones are more of a dull. Yeah. Uh, we are gonna take the oregano this week. Uh, we will chop it down because there is so much and we'll make some oil. Um, oregano is a, re a really good oil for uh, uh, molds and respiratory and, and uh, whatnot. So it uh, we'll, we go through a lot of that oil, especially with Mark uh, working in the mold industry. So a safety precaution, you can take drops of oregano to uh, avoid having all that. Somebody's gone dark pink, I'm not sure why. The catnip yeah. would, I don't know if it's too happy this year. Oops, there we go. It's, uh, yeah, we'll get all the oregano before it yeah. goes to seed. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all blooming. Have to cut some lettuces for your dad. Or some, this is Swiss chard. So I just, I pick the yellow leaves, I'll throw it over to the animals. They quite enjoy it. And that's the kale. We've got a lady coming for rhubarb. I haven't used any rhubarb this year, but we've got a lady who's uh, retired and getting into pie making. So she has been uh, coming for oregano. These white no. butterflies, when you see them in your garden. I believe those are the cabbage butterflies. Yeah, if you grow... Uh, They've got a black dot on their wings. Yeah. If you grow... Those are the ones that will attack your broccoli and your... Um, there's still half caps on here. I know. I keep getting. Oh, they're so. Some of them are they're so still. big. I know. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, oh. they're good. It was sour. <laughs> Gotta talk. I had a nice one. I had a nice sweet one. Oh. Apparently, I have to move this because apparently it gets four feet tall. Yeah. Can't remember the name of it now. I'm terrible. Oh, Mark's gonna go stick a thing in there. Yeah. <laughs> he does that. He does that. Um, the asparagus is done for the year. So we'll let that grow back into the root system. Those pine beetles are getting loud. Yeah. yeah, if you ever wonder what that noise is, it's a pine beetle or spruce beetle or whatever. They bite. The lilies. And, okay, I'll show you in there. I found some poppies. Ooh. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had poppies, but I've seen a couple pop up. Poppies. Last time I remember having them, they were in the front garden, but then they disappeared well, a few years ago. But this is a lot of soil from the front garden. Yes. 
so disturbing it may have brought them back. Look. Yeah. Ooh. That's poppy. That's nice. Oh, you got a, a bud right there. Yeah, there's a bud there, a bud there. Yeah. Love poppy. I don't remember them being that big. No. They like it. We've I've never seen one that never big in the yard. Never seen them that big. They've always been tiny little spindly. Yeah. The speedwell is uh, blooming. Oh, and they got cute purple, little purple flowers. Yeah, they get purple stems. I harvested raspberries again this morning. We have gotten, I want to say 20 liters so far off of the old stock and now the new stock will come up and create a second wave of a uh, harvest. Starting to harvest beans. So we just, I just take enough to go in a handful a day or whatever and put them in the fridge and they make good snacks, which is good. I've seen a bunch of little ones. Yeah. All along here. They'll, uh, well, these <clears throat> beans, eventually they will go up. They don't typically go up, but if they're given the option, they will go up. So go, spread your wings, <laughs> spread your leaves. Out. The only tomatoes I didn't harvest are these ones because of that guy. Me no like. Hornet. Ah. Me no like. Ah. Uh, oh, we know the K that is. Don't touch, don't disturb him. I don't know if there's... He's, yeah, he's fine. I don't know what he's looking for. I know, right? Me no like. So yeah, so all the peas were starting to Here and there, the lettuce. Oh, does it like it? So do the animals. The animals love it because I pull the edges, it grows or goes to seed and throws to them. The spinach, I'm gonna let it reseed here. All the tomatoes have been trimmed up. I'll show you over on the other side. Quite oh. See, this is why I don't cook Mark dinner. Because I eat in the garden. It's hilarious actually. Starting to, this one has started to take off real nice. We've had some cold uh, nights. I haven't, oh, there's tiny little cucumbers. So we'll see, that'll, uh, I did the strawberry spinach. Oh, go on the flower. That's a nice little different thing that reseeds in the yeah. garden every year. Got to catch up to the boys, how they're I growing there is all fast. Wow, we went there and it was just massive, wasn't it? Yeah. All the tomatoes have started to get flowers. You'll notice how I trim up my tomatoes. Okay. Uh, last year, my tomatoes were 16 feet tall and like a massive ivy bush. Rainforest. Rainforest, yeah. It was dubbed by a few visitors. Right. <laughs> And a lot of people said, well, you got to trim them. I'm like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and they will still get those tomatoes. I'm expecting that will be way up here. Yeah. And that's just trimming everything below the fruit. So tomatoes are trimmed up. A couple more poppies here. See, that's the size we're used to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it here. So like I said, I harvested again this morning, the raspberries. When I say 20, that's 20 of, yeah. uh, maybe, yeah, oh, geez, that's more than 20 yeah. quarts. Cause this, this is two liters. So, Wow, that's a lot of yeah. raspberries. You can really see how it's trimmed though. Oh, it's going to the greenhouse. Oh, fan went off. <laughs> it's gonna turn back on pretty soon. Yeah. So I am going to, I've got a couple more people coming for uh, tomato plants uh, as theirs aren't making it. Um, you can see back here all the peas and beans. So that's a nice way to harvest so I'm not bending over. There's so, a Whatever I don't give away, I'll pop in the garden. You see what? I just saw a little honeybee oh. go up to the roof yeah. and he's finding flowers. Good job, bud. Good job. Um, this was a neat little, uh, almost sold out of hollyhocks. 
they lady came the other day and bought quite a few. Um, I love the different, you They're know. They're very pretty flowers. Yeah. And the different flowers are the different beans, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, that one's ready. That one needs money. Oh, there's like some nice pink ones too. And there's orange. Watch this. So as we go, okay, so, sorry, I missed a couple beans yesterday. <laughs> or peas, sorry. And the zucchinis, they need to get in the ground. I saw this one, Tiana. Ooh. I've never had this one before. The flower on it is huge and white. Huh. There's not, there isn't one open. This one was open yesterday and I was like, oh like my God, curled. it was so neat. Huh. And uh, this is the gar, uh, not garbanzo, uh, kukuzi. Huh. Kukuzi cucumber. And I've never grown it before, but that flower, it's, it was, it's like a hollyhock flower, hmm. which was neat. Yeah. Um, don't see Fred. Fred's in my toad. I've named him and I see him out here every time I don't have the camera. Every year you have a Fred. Yeah. Well, but this is Fred the toad, not Fred the frog. Maybe I should call him Ted. Ted the toad. Yeah. And then the Freds will be the frogs. That's a good idea. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, the tomatoes are growing. They are starting to grow tomatoes. So they're doing just as good. Tomatoes are hardy. So no matter when I put them out, they'll grow. Uh, little cucumbers coming. They're so darn cute, aren't they? Have you checked your squash recently? Oh, this is the... Yeah, there's one, there's one that's doing okay. There's the strawberry spinach. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it'll get a little deeper before it's Oh, ready. there is a big. Oh yeah. Right. Another smaller one right here. It's neat. It's, um, it'll be neat having them oh, right there, right there. Yeah. See, once you start looking, yeah, then you see them all. That's funny. Yeah, once you lunch, wait, snack, afternoon snack, my peas. All right. So I wanted to give you guys an idea as to what my tomatoes look like before they start. So this is this year's. You see how. I trim everything below and yes, they will grow. They'll grow very nicely yeah. once the tomatoes start coming. I just noticed. Oh, and it's actually bigger. Right there. I bet you that's fertilized. Because a lot of them are uh, not getting pollinated or it's, I don't know. Nature's being weird this oh. year. Well, you'll have to watch this one right here because got another female flower. Yeah. But no, even the ones that I pollinated, Tiana, huh. they didn't, uh, they didn't take. No one there. So that'll be the tomatoes, but these tomatoes will get taller than the greenhouse and then fall over. Of course, I can't trim that high until they fall over. And then I, and then it's just all whoa, tomatoes like crazy. Yep. And we dehydrate and eat a lot of toasted tomato sandwiches. So I went through and I pulled a lot of the old stalks and cut them off. Toby, hey. Barking at Toby. the pig. Come, Toby, come here. Stop barking. Um, Tiana uses the raspberry leaf in tea. So we'll be harvesting a lot of the leaves. And now that the new growth has come up, it's not the old, it's not the old leaves, which tend to be a lot more, uh, I don't know, well, used. <laughs> the new leaves are much nicer. So if you Crisp. stick, yeah, if you stick the camera over, you'll see how much the uh, animals oh, enjoyed oh, yeah. me trimming. <laughs> so like, Everything. Watch this. And see. Look, the I'll, geese are waiting. I'll give up my peas. I don't know if they'll go for them. Oh. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. Look. I love you. <laughs> you see the little. Oh, here comes Glenn. I got it. Um, <laughs> so, and this is what I mean. Like, we'll get into a whole second, a 
harvest with the new the new uh, growth and the raspberries will be twice as big so, uh, next year I might trim early because now I'm yeah. now I'm harvesting well I harvested today and I didn't think I was going to I'm harvesting every day and I got two two liters today so it uh, love those raspberries all right now what else is happening not much I guess now we're just getting into harvesting everything and it'll be pin cherries and choke cherries next we'll have to check the plums yeah I saw Blackie hitting that tree, but nothing was falling, so. Uh, there's the little yellow flower on the clover. Yeah, little one. I don't recall what kind of clover that is, but I do know it. Uh, I got it. I just think of the Red Cross clover. That's no, the only thing so. that pops into my head. Because Red Cross is a flower. Is it? Yeah, look, come here. Huh. Well, because I remember like years ago us talking about the red, like the red clover. That one? Yeah. That's Red Cross. Okay. And uh, the, no, that one, I got it from when it was, it was in the bottom of a pot that I got from a greenhouse. Yeah. And it is invasive, like it grows like crazy. And it goes everywhere. But it's pretty. It has such a tiny root. And it's so easy to pull. So if you don't want it, it's very easy to, to pull up. But it is also very pretty amongst the garden because it adds shade and, and color to it, which is nice. So yeah, I could. It reminds me of a shamrock instead of a clover. Yeah. It's shamrock. Like, I'll have to look up the name and tell Dad before he does this video. Be interesting to see what colors come out. Yes. And collect the seed pods mm -hmm. so that I can put them where I want them, not <laughs> everywhere I don't want them. The allium is blooming. So that's that ornamental onion. Yeah, this pea. This was that volunteer pea, which is hilarious. It's starting to, they're all growing, but. Go, cover it. Um, so this week I'll just be doing things like the oregano oil, possibly the raspberry leaves, and uh, oh, the sunflowers, that's just. So it's weird. The sunflowers in here are medium height. The ones in the big pots are large height. The ones still in the little pots, which I was giving away. That's, I love this vine. <laughs> These peppers are getting nice and big. Yeah, I'll have to see, cause that one, they look almost big enough to yeah. harvest. Right? I'll check, I'll check the brown seed size and whatnot. Uh, irises are all taking their time. These guys have been seeding like crazy. <laughs> so another poppy. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And another big one. Yeah, those, those are a ton of seeds down Look at there. all those seeds. All the little black dots. I actually took and knocked them off because they were falling out here. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, we'll put them in there and make them grow in there. Uh, I will dispose of this soil somewhere safe away from the animals. That was the walnut tree soil, which can be contaminated away from the garden because I don't want to inhibit any growth. So, and then there's these guys. Only one's bloomed so far. And he kind of looks like he needed a little bit of help. Kind of looks like he's got Oh, there's two there. Yeah. Kind of looks like he got a little bit deformed. He kind of sticks yeah. out one side. And this is all the petals he got. Huh. Ooh, those are soft too. So, I uh, wonder if sunflower petals are good. 
maybe. Or sunflower. I'll have to look that one up. Yeah. And these are all, they should all be the fire red or closest to black as Tarek could find. <laughs> <laughs> um, this plant we need to identify. All I think of it is fireweed because the tips all get fire red. And uh, well, there is a weed called fireweed. Yeah. But I'm not sure. But I want to see if it's medicinal. It's got medicinal before it goes to seed, and then I will uh, yeah. harvest that. I kind of let them grow in here to kind of see what uh, what they turn into, because that's I'm a visual person. I'm not I'm not necessarily a book unless it's got pictures. <laughs> but I'm a visual learner. I like hands-on. So. Carrots. We will wait until they die back into them into the roots. So they'll be harvested in the fall. They'll just grow, grow, grow. I don't know how big they are yet. Should I see? Uh, well, do you want to? I don't know. I was smart and I planted them a little differently this year. I didn't plant them as close together or as many because we like love the baby carrots. Mm -hmm. But that was a lot of washing. Yeah. <laughs> so. And a lot of picking. Yeah. Digging. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, those are nice size carrots. Nice. That's the best kind too. I'm gonna enjoy that one. That's the purple. Yeah. The nice. <laughs> they, this is the fun part about gardening, right? And the things that you learn, right? Yeah. And the tops of carrots are good tops for like are, a pesto. Tops are edible. Bottoms are edible. Awesome. That was supposed to be a prince tut, but I think it likes it so much in here that it's become a king tut. <laughs> That's the, my favorite grasses. I love this one. I think it's so pretty. I should do a lot of that next year. Do you like your grasses just in I general? I do. I do. And then look at the seeds on there. I should pull this one. There's a lot on here. Yeah. Again, with, with don't don't you push these off. There. <laughs> um, you'll see even with the um, sunflowers. Anytime I get leaves that are kind of ratty, I just pull them off. They don't need to stay on the plant. Yeah, let it focus on the other stuff like the flowers. Mm -hmm. All right, that was fun. Maybe I should pick one for your dad. Do I get one? Oh, you want one? I have to I like feed carrots. you? I have to feed you? Ready? Yeah. Wait, you want to like visual down here? Oh. Look. I'm pulling this shadows in the way. There can we you go. see that one? Okay. I think we can. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's the. That's the purple. That's. Oh. Huh. All right. So this is red, I guess? Yeah. All right, well, it's not as mine bigger. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this one. These ones, the greenery isn't as big. I look for the base, like you need a big, oh, look, it tells me what kind it is in here. Oh. <laughs> Little finger. So these ones should be long. So you can, you can come in and chop the tops of this off and use this as well which I've done for the animals in the past. Uh, when I start to get low on different things that I'm har harvesting, I'll pull from the garden. None of these tops look really big though. Oh, that one's not bad, I didn't see this one. There's a grasshopper there that doesn't know what to do. Cause I'm freaking, I'm moving out the whole thing. Oh, I was like, that base looks big, it's grass. Oh, sh <laughs> Okay, well these don't look big enough to play with. Just a bunch in there. All right, let's try this one. Ready? Yep. Nah. Oh, it's yours. <laughs> Stick it back in the ground. Yeah, right. Stick it's it yours. back in. <laughs> Get back in there. There we go. Grow. Nothing happened. <laughs> grow. It probably won't grow. <laughs> oh well. All right. You and dad can have them. 
I eat enough when I'm out here. <laughs> Sunchoke. This will get a yellow flower on it. I see it's coming. Oh, yeah. Little spot up top. Uh, the roots can be made into a coffee. The stems are really good for crafts as they're a square. And then you can uh, harvest the leaves and stuff as well. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it for a little garden too. Well, there's always more. Um, but that's it for today. We will enjoy our carrots. I feel like a little rabbit. Um, and we will see you in a weekend video. Bye guys.